Hello, everyone. My name is Anuro Barrer, and I'm a field applications engineer with the IoT and Cloud Apps team here at ST Microelectronics. Today, I'll be giving a demonstration of our Xlinux AWS Utilities Pack. In combination with the Xlinux AWS Starter Package, the Xlinux AWS Utilities provides a set of scripts to configure the SCM32 MP135 Discovery Kit as a Greengrass Core device. First and foremost, to use the Xlinux AWS Utilities Package, you'll have to download the Xlinux AWS Utilities Repository. Depending on how you're viewing this content, the link will either be in the description of the video or provided to you individually. What I've done off camera so far is just download the repository to my desktop here. Next, I've opened the repository in my preferred text editor, Visual Studio Code. And as you can see, I'm using a Windows machine today for the demonstration, but this is possible to accomplish on a Linux machine. There are several prerequisites and requirements that must be met prior to executing the Xlinux AWS utility scripts. All of these prerequisites are detailed in the readme provided in the repository. You'll need an STM32 MP1 discovery kit, and it must be accessible over the network. This wiki link explains all the steps required to connect your board to Wi-Fi. You'll also need to install Xlinux AWS on board your discovery kit. Next, we'll be using Bash to execute all the scripts. So if you're using a Windows machine, you must have Git Bash installed. An AWS account is also required, and one that has permissions to manage IAM, IoT, and Greengrass, as we'll be configuring all of those throughout the script execution. Next, we'll need AWS CLI, and it must have access to that account that we configured for AWS. To do so, you can set it up with this link here. And on your machine, you must have SSH access to your discovery kit. Now let's take a look at the repository structure by opening the containing folder. At the time of this recording, the repository structure is as follows. Primarily, there are five numbered scripts that execute in order to configure specific sections of your Greengrass core setup. Script one is responsible for setting up AWS IAM resources. Script two is responsible for setting up AWS IoT core resources. Script three is responsible for setting up PKCS 11 on board the discovery kit. Script four generates a certificate and uploads it to AWS. And script five is responsible for configuring Greengrass on board the discovery kit. All of these scripts are executed in order with the execute script. Next is config.json. Config.json is the file that holds all the parameters that you'll be able to modify in order to run the setup as you'd like for your environment. There is also several cleanup scripts, a cleanup directory, and a cleanup.sh script that are responsible for managing resources after you're done with the demonstration. They clean up all of the resources in AWS and on the device that were generated during script execution. In addition, there are several other JSON and shell scripts that are available here in the directory. These are all detailed and described in the readme. As for this demonstration, we'll only be interfacing with the execute and config.json script. I'll let you go over the script summary section on your own. Now we can go over usage and complete the demonstration. To use Xlinux AWS utilities, there are three primary steps. One is to update the required configuration parameters in configuration.json. Two is to actually run the scripts with execute.sh. And three is to verify Greengrass core functionality. This can be done by either running this command or monitoring it in AWS IoT Core. Now, we can open the directory, which contains our repository, and open config.json in a text editor. 
As you can see, my configuration file will look slightly different than yours. I've already updated the board IP with the IP address for my discovery kit, the thing name with my desired thing name, and the thing group name with my desired thing group name. The rest of the IoT configuration has also been prepended with demo. This change is not required. Actually, the only required changes are that you update the thing name, the thing group name, and the board IP. Feel free to look into the README under configuration file and optional configuration parameters to understand how and what can be changed for the rest of the configuration parameters. After you've updated your configuration file, save, and then navigate to the directory and open git bash in this directory. As you can see, I now have xlinux, AWS utilities as the working directory in my git bash terminal window. Next, all we have to do is type dot slash execute dot sh and hit enter. First, the script will configure IAM resources. Then it will configure IoT resources. Next, it will copy some files over to the discovery kit and then configure PKCS 11 onboard the discovery kit. Then we'll configure the certificate and upload it to AWS. And lastly, we'll configure Greengrass on board that's on board the discovery kit. Once you received the line, all scripts executed successfully in the terminal window, that means you've successfully executed the Xlinux AWS utility scripts. Next, we'd like to verify that our Greengrass core device has been set up successfully. To do so, there are two methods described in the README. For this video, we'll be checking that our AWS IoT Core console lists our device. I've already logged into the console, and I'll navigate to IoT Core. Under All Devices and then Things, I should now see the demo Greengrass thing. Under Greengrass Devices, and then core devices, I should also see the demo Greengrass thing listed as a core device. This means I've successfully connected my SCM32 MP1 discovery kit as a Greengrass core device. Now that we've completed the demonstration, once you're finished with evaluating the board, you can clean up all the resources configured in AWS and on board the discovery kit with the cleanup scripts that we've provided. To do so, navigate back to the Git bash terminal window, open in the xlinux AWS utilities working directory. We can clear the output from above. And next, we'll want to type dot slash cleanup. This cleanup script, just like the execute script, is configured with the config.json file. So make sure to update the config.json file with all the parameters and arguments that you would like to be deleted. After the cleanup script is run, you cannot restore deleted resources.
After cleanup.sh is typed into the window, you can hit enter. It will go through and clean up all the IAM resources and IoT resources that were created. Deactivating, revoking, and deleting the certificate that was created. And now cleaning up the PKCS11 configuration on board the device. It will also clean up the files that were copied over to the board as well. After the script is executed, we can navigate back into the IoT Core portal, refresh, and we'll see that we no longer have our demo core device listed. And under things, we no longer have our demo device here. This means we've successfully run the cleanup script. Today's video demonstration was just a beginning walkthrough of what can be accomplished with the Xlinux AWS Utilities package. The README gives a much more thorough explanation and description of how the package can be used. I recommend that you take a deeper look into the README in order to take a deeper dive into topics like usage, the configuration file, a summary of every script, cleanup scripts, and also a troubleshooting section, which gives you commands capable of monitoring logs and also managing PKCS11 objects on board the device. Also, this package is a working and living package, so the most updated version can be provided through the GitHub repository. Any changes will be updated and reflected in the README as well. Thanks for listening today. Appreciate your time. Please let us know if you have any questions or concerns.